Look, I did a thing! Hey, what's up everyone? Owl here. Welcome back to Silent Hill 4, The Room. Whoa, we're not doing a, a new game. Holy shit, no. Okay, so we just finished the apartment world. We got back. There's only one victim left, supposedly. Because remember, on every victim we found so far, it's been a number slash 21. And rest in peace, our girl, Eileen, was victim 20 out of 21. But look, we have mail. There's some kind of strange paper stuck in here. Will you take it? Sure. You got the succubus talisman. Oh my. I'm intrigued. C card with some kind of frightening demon on it. Alright, what about you? There's a scrap of red paper stuck in here. I don't think I can protect myself. He's truly insane. I can't hold on any longer. His power can't be measured. The scouters just explode every time I try to read it. I was so scared today that I sealed off the back of the storage room. Interesting. I wonder if Eileen Galvin is okay. <laughs> yeah, about that. She has no idea what's going on, but she's in danger, nevertheless. July 13th. Um, she's, um... Presumably she's not in any more physical pain, depending on what religion you follow. Oh, yeah, this is where the demon tried to break through in the first level, right? What is this? Um, so that... that I thought that went away. In fact, that's still there. Okay, so they said something about the utility room? That's this one, right? Um, okay, let's see. We got the blood splat from our dryer. It's some kind of stain. Come to think of it, it also looks like an evil demon. Alright. Do I... Do I do something with that? Oh! Oh, hey, we used the Psychopus Talisman. Cool. Oh, like in, um, like in, uh, Jackie Chan Adventures. You take the, the paper and you slap it over the thing. Oh, sweet, we got writing and symbols. Oh, four, oh, this is where we put the plates. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, well, let's, um, you know, let's get the plates first and then we'll read the message. All right, uh, oh, okay, so cool. So the symbols apply. So for here, temptation is inscribed into the depression. So we need... The... This one. Yay! Tempta temptation placard. And then this one is the eyeball. Watchfulness. Uh, this one is purple circle. No, it's the green the green thing, I think. Yay! Source. Oh, it's, it's supposed to be like grain. And then this one, I forget what this one is. Chaos! Alright, now what? Oh, how hey! Oh, wow. A new portal, and it's big, and it's scary, and I'm gonna get more weapons. Um, okay. I got my weapons. I got my revolver. I don't know if I can take regular bullets. We're gonna have to find out. Got my trusty axe. Don't know what the doll is for. I don't know why I have the keys. I probably don't need those anymore, but I have them anyway. Um, all right, let's do this. Oh, it's scary. I don't like it. The hole. Where will it lead to this time? Eileen. I wonder if she's okay. Oh, that's right. You know, over the dispatch, we did hear that she's actually not dead. She's still alive, but they don't think she's going to pull through. So, potentially, if we fix what's on here, we can still save her. Maybe. Probably not. Hey, baby. Ooh! Scary surgical place? Oh, I hope it's a haunted hospital. I love those. Always the best. The last victim? Or is it Joseph? Or is it Walter? Oh. Oh. Oh, Joe. Or Walter. One of the two. That's Cynthia's body, isn't it? We still don't know who this dude is. I'm gonna guess it's Joseph. The crazy journalist. What you doing with Cynthia's body, bro? Oh, are we just... Oh, we're, we're just running away now? I'm, yeah, I see these things on the ground. I'm not even... Oh, no! No! Darn it! Okay, 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 okay. And last one, because I don't want it to deal with that every time I walk through here. Okay, Joe, are you, like, still stalking me? Joe? Joe, Joe? Joey. Oh, shit. There are all sorts of medical things, but I wouldn't know what to do with any of them. Ha 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 ha. Yes. 
Haunted Hospital. Haunted Hospitals are the best. Like, really, the be because hospitals are already, um, like, unsettling to be at. It's a paper-cutting knife. Take it. I'm going to assume I'm going to need it. Uh, originally made for cutting paper, it's hard to use as a weapon. Oh, it's a box cutter. So, like, the fact that hospitals are supposed to be this kind and, like, nurturing place of healing, but they're not. They're just unsettling for people who work there because there's the, the, that constant reminder of death. So, like, just because of that, they make, like, just, like, the, the juxtaposition of, like, the good and the bad. They're just, ugh, they're so good. It's a nurse's memo. I lost Eileen Galvin's hospital room key. She was a patient brought in with severe injuries. I wondered if I left it in one of the other hospital rooms. I really hope not. Yeah, because you're going to get fucking fired otherwise. So Eileen is alive, and she's somewhere in here. Sweet. It's a bunch of medical equipment. Okay, cool. There are lots of forms of the name St. Jerome's Hospital on them. St. Jerome's Hospital? That's not too far from my apartment. So we're in the underside of St. Jerome's Hospital. Oh, is this her chart thing? Damn. Severe lacerations. Transfusions of blood. What type is she? Hmm. Blood force trauma to the head. But none of those wounds look... like organ damaging. I would say that the blow to the head is the most troublesome. Depending on how much blood she lost. According to the dispatcher, she is. She was alive when she was put on the ambulance. And from that nurse's memo... The fact that they said Eileen's room and not the morgue is a good hint. So Eileen is somehow still alive. But we know she's special. So it's very... Why did we just drop that? There are a lot of photos pinned up on the board. Could these be Eileen's pictures? Uh, yeah, they are. So Eileen is special. So maybe that's why she's still alive. But from what I can tell, there's actually a bunch of levels left. What's this note? Eileen Galvin. E.N. Galvin. Eileen Galvin. Eileen Galvin. Pregante? How do you get prego? How does you get pregantars? Where can I get progers from? That's all that was to me. Alright, let's keep going. Don't mind me, just a dude wandering a hospital with a wood axe. Perfectly normal. Walter? Her handbag? Why would that be brought with her to the hospital? What's a woman's handbag doing here? Must be Eileen. Take the bag. I got Eileen's bag. Looks like it caused a little bit of damage. Wait, I can use it as a weapon? Oh. I can use that as a weapon. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to stick to the axe, though. I love the axe. It's my favorite. All right, I'm going to go back to the room that we saw Joseph in. One, because I want to see what the hell he's doing there. And two, because, yeah. I should really drop off more things in my apartment. Oh, come on. Because I'm already out of space. And I, like, I don't need the keys to the apartment building. Hey, Joe. Still doing spooky things in here? Oh. Oh, hi. Um. Oh. Okay. Uh. There's a strange human-shaped object. Yep. And, and, hey, hey. Yep. I just, I just need you out of my way. I just, nope. Okay, sweet. I didn't even mean to juke you there. I sort of did. Oh my god. Oh my. There's no portal here either. What the? What? I just want to go home. And my home is a prison. That's not encouraging. That's locked. What? But I'm out of room. I, mistakes have been made. Okay, this is the first room I went into. And I was like, I don't know if the door of all this stuff. And then I went into that room. Which led to that room. So now we're in this room. Joe, what's going on? Joe? Lockers. Joe. Joe? Joe. Oh, there's the portal. Oh, thank God. Enter the hole. Yes. I don't even know if that's Joe. It could be Walter. I'm thinking it's Joe, but it could be Walter. What if it's fucking Mike? Getting skinned off by your apartment superintendent definitely would cause me to want to go on a revenge kick. I can tell you that. All right. Let's do this. Alright, this is the room where I was like, yeah, I don't have space. Okay, med kit, take it, yes. Um, it's a baby's medical chart. <gasps> is it Walter's medical chart? It was Walter at St. Jerome's, is that why we're here? I mean, everything we've been visiting seems to be, like, important to Walter's childhood. Like, he clearly was held in the water prison. 
He clearly was at the orphanage. Oh, hey. Hey, you. Hey, no, no. I just need to, I just need to see if there's any clues in here. Oh, take the ampule. I don't... It restores a fairly large amount of health. Continues to restore health for some time. Cool. 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 Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Hey, I have access too. Oh, I don't even know what... Oh, I don't like those creatures. It's an elevator door, but the button is broken. Fun. What new horrors await in the stairwell? I don't know. I didn't like those. Those are the most unsettling. Even like the babies, because the babies were just like cool. It's like, ah, oh, wow, floating two-headed baby. Yeah, these things are just- Oh, haunted wheelchairs! Haunted wheelchairs! Oh god, it's Joe Swanson's worst- Who put this in here? Oh, oh, shame on you. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? You got some, uh, you got some gross. Hey, there you go. There you go. It's a man's dead body. Well, um... This level is both awesome and horrible. Let's go in here. Is this a bathroom? Because I definitely need to wet myself. There are a bunch of x-ray pictures stuck up on the board. Are these Eileen's x-rays? I don't know, man. They're on the floor as well. Cool. And, and they're on the wall. They're everywhere. She's like the only patient in this haunted hospital. No, leave me alone. Ooh, look. It, uh. Uh. What? Eileen? Is that you, baby? Uh, hey, I'm just gonna slow- Sorry to disturb you. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. What the factual fuck was that? I- I don't- This level is both amazing and also I- I- I what? My brain is broken. No! Stupid- Die! No! Go back to haunting Joe Swanson. Leave me alone. Oh, shower time with the boys. Don't mind if you get a little naked, do you? Yeah. Wait a moment. You're not the boys. You're evil toadstools. I don't even know why I'm killing you. I don't even feel like I need to. What, what is this? Is there anything over here? It's wet from rain. Well, I mean, more than likely it's a burst pipe. But yeah, it could be rain. I mean, I can't look up. Okay. All right. That's that's lovely. All right. That's that's lovely. Ah! Stop double teaming me. Ah, he dragged me. Dick. Yes, I am going to explore every room. <gasps> Ooh, another Saint medallion. I don't use these, but they're good to have. Basically, if you wear them, a uh, ghost will leave you alone for like 5 minutes. There's a nice soft afternoon light coming in from the window. Is time flowing differently here? Or is it some kind of light from Heaven. Hey, this ain't Silent Hill 1, alright? No dead family members going into the afterlife here. Just a lot of haunted wheelchairs. Ooh. Ooh, kinky. It's a sterile room. Which one is a sterile room? Well, not this one. With our bloody axe that we found, like, in the middle of nowhere, we've definitely infected... Also, look, are either of these rooms sterile, do you think? The answer is no. Neither of them are. Ooh, drugs? I like drugs. It's some kind of skin. It smells horrible. There's something stuck in it. Around the middle of the skin, there's still some meat attached on the inside. Well, don't eat it. Just grab the bullets. Pick up the bullets? Yes. What are these, Pills? There are all sorts of medication, but I don't know what any of them are. Well, there's only one way to find out. I actually left my gun in the other dimension because I didn't have a lot of space. And I'm like, I'm just using the axe anyway. So, ooh. Oh, it's forcing me to walk slow here. That is definitely a clue for later. It's like, by the way, when you see the gray floor, you cannot walk fast. Got it. This is me holding down the sprint button, by the way. And he's doing like the, oh yeah, look at me. Sexy Henry. Uh, look at my butt. I will look at your butt. Oh, shit! Ho! Oh, ho! Oh, oh! Okay. 
Nice, nice little, nice little heart attack you gave me. Hey, Joe, do you know what's going on, Joe? Wait, what did I just... Oh, revolver bullets. Okay, so you do need bullets specifically for the revolver. That's what I was wondering about. All right, so next time I go back into the room, I can figure that shit out. Uh, cause I don't- I've- I've lots of bullets, but no gun right now. Alright, what's in here? Uh, oh. There's a horrible smell coming from the broken glass, and another golf club. I don't think I have space, yeah. They're throwing a lot of items at me. I can see someone on the other side of the wire net, but they're not moving. Is it a dead body? Yeah, probably, man. Glass is broken. Yeah, of course, Henry. Master of, uh, deduction you are. There's probably a lot of dead people. Hey! You know what? I just want to see if I can kill you. Don't take this to... Did you just burp? What the hell? Ip. 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 Excuse me. Bleh. Bleh. Okay, they, they weren't that hard to kill. Wait, I think they're still alive. Oh my god, they're still alive! Oh, you have to hit him twice? Yeah, that's not sneaky at all. Oh, my god. I should read that again. It's some kind of skin. It smells so bad. It must be fairly new. My god, is it human skin? Hey, man. You know, you talk about cow leather and deer leather, but, you know, any professional tannery knows the best leather is skint. Oh, hey, buddy. It's a sterile room. Hey, I'm just gonna leave. I don't want to deal with you and your issues. It's some kind of thing. What the hell is it? Some kind of umbilical cord? Okay, okay, wait. Were they raising orphans for the purposes of harvesting their skin for some sort of weird, creepy, underground lever trade and then using the bodies for, like, some sort of, like, zombie warrior research? This long thing. What the hell is it? Some kind of umbilical cord? I don't know, Henry. I don't know. This plot's already convoluted. It started out as a serial killer, and now it's just- What? Why? Why? I can't hold anymore. Okay, and I can't drop things either. But there's a key. I'll be back. Oh my god, fucking wheelchairs. Imagine, like, telling telling someone about this game, and they're like, So what's the most dangerous enemy you gotta watch out for? Hey, man. It's definitely the wheelchairs. You gotta watch out for those wheelchairs, man. And they're like, what? What the hell are you talking about? Trust me. Wheelchairs. I like how they tell you how many times you've saved as if they're trying to, like, shame you. Like, oh, look how many times you have to save your game. Yeah, darn right. It only takes one simple mistake to erase hours worth of gameplay. Screw that. I had to deal with that with Skyrim enough times where I'd, like, go through an entire temple uh, that didn't have any auto saves, and then I'd get killed by, like, a stupid trap. And, actually, that's why I stopped playing Skyrim. Because I, uh... I messed up towards the end. I was at, the, like, the massive dragon temple. And, literally, uh... The game... Actually, the game glitched. And I hadn't saved in a while. Like, I, you know, you're supposed to use the shout to bring down the dragons and then kill them. But, like, where I was in the game... Um... I would have had to have, like, redone the entire temple. Like, two hours worth of playing. And I was like, fuck this. And I know two hours isn't a lot, considering, but it's a key! I was just like, I was over it. Also, I'll say it, I hate the Skyrim main quest line. I love Skyrim. I love the Skyrim side quests, but I don't give a fuck about Anduin. Or Alduin, or whatever. You know, and they even, Bethesda even admitted the Civil War was lackluster. Like, they want, like, it should have been more amped up. And there's mods for it, but this is 2011, so it didn't really have the mods for it. Hospital room key. Oh, it's a trap. Well, we found Eileen's key. Huh, you used the hospital room key. Wow, greatest trap ever. Haha, -ha, I've trapped you in this cage. Okay, but you all, the key to get out of the cage is inside the, the cage, the whole, oh, never mind. Ooh, uh oh. The terrible smell. What's behind the cloth? I think we both know. It's a human. Can we hit it? Okay, yeah. It's... Yeah, it's... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This wall must be to prevent suicides. Yes. I mean, I get that it's padded, but... The hooks, man. The hooks. 
Oh, 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 oh. What the hell? I can see legs coming out from the bottom of that cloth. Okay, it's like it's like the clan was trying to create the super clansmen. Twelve feet tall and so racist he even hates other whites. Damn it, wheelchairs! Oh my god. It doesn't look like I can go any further. Well we have a key, so back downstairs we go. Ha ha! Haha! Okay, I got it. It's gonna be one on the I have a center! Nope, 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 no, you can't catch me. Ha ha, it's like cool runnings, damn it! No, don't try to fight them. Henry, stop. Stop. No, that's the elevator, it doesn't work. The door, no, the door. Henry! Henry, there we go. Oh, this room was locked before, apparently. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. I didn't realize that this room was locked. And we found Eileen. See, hey, you're not looking... You don't look too... Too bad, you know? Still look pretty hot. You know? You're gonna be okay, okay? Hey. I'm... I mean, I am, like, walking around a hospital with a bloody axe. And, you know, we shouldn't be too surprised. This is her reaction. Also, she's met us, like, what, twice? Yeah, sorry about the axe. It's, it's a thing. I'm glad to see you're doing okay. I, like, I wanted to check on you. Or you just tell me who hurt you. Walter. Oh, that's why she was looking all sexy. Aha! Uh -huh. The new killer isn't Walter. Well, you didn't remember. It's not your fault. Yeah, you got brutally attacked. That's a valid response. The upside down, whatever you want to call it. Okay, but every time we've tried to rescue someone, it ends poorly. Okay, do we have a companion now? Alright, she's following me. Uh, cool. There's a scalpel, scissors, and some other surgical instruments here. What are they doing here? Well, it's a hospital, Henry. What do you think? Oh. Oh, oh, hi. Um. 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 Oh. I. Uh, huh. Um. Huh. Those uh, creatures just suddenly got a lot less scary. Here, would you like your bag back? <gasps> oh, I gave her the bag. Wait, can I give her like any weapon? You. Yeah. No. Okay. Wow. Um. Haha. <laughs> Double tapped. Right. Uh, let's go into the giant room with your face in it. So, um, what do you make of this? This is a nightmare. Be happening. Well, it is. 
All right, time to check every room until we figure out where the hell we need to go. So... Huh, that's new. Dried up flowers. I don't think I've ever been in this room before. Ooh. Take the holy candle? Yes, you got the holy candle. Special candle of anti-spirit effects. Begins working shortly after being lit and placed down. Ah, so if there's a room full of ghosts, I can place that down and they'll go away. Interesting. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. There we go. I'm gonna find more of those bullets. This gun is really handy. Like, this revolver is awesome. Like, I didn't even need to kill that guy, but, like, it felt good to do it. I just realized, now that we've rescued her, the evil wheelchairs have vanished. I don't know what the connection is with that, but, okay. Ah, that's, that's so dumb. So if I click on the actual elevator door, it just tells me, man, I should really press the button. But you have to actually get, whatever. Okay, so the elevator works now. Got it. Does that, wow, do we have to actually wait for the elevator? Ah, hey, I don't even know what you are. Oh, it's another burpee lady. Okay, that was violent. That might she might have even just been like, "Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, it's a lovely ha!" Ah! Then we just we just oh. okay. Uh, the button's broken except for open close. I I got super stuck. I was like, "What the hell do I do?" So, Eileen is supposed to follow you, and I guess I ran. Ooh, that's new. Oh, that looks. It's locked. All right, we're gonna go back to my room and save, which is apparently something we can do. We just have to make sure Eileen is close to us. And I found out they, they give you so many uh, save... Oops. The reason they give you so many health items is because your room will no longer heal you, apparently, once you get to this point in the game. So fun. Ooh, do I get to wake up next to Ali? So normally I skip this cut, this little cutscene when you wake up, but she's with me. It's different. And... Eileen. She's gone. Okay, so exactly the same, except Eileen's missing. Oh, oh, okay, shattered glass, not good. He's breaking stuff. The air in this room feels heavy. Oh, my ceiling fan. And I'm pretty sure the superintendent's dead. No, wait, no, he's not. It's, this room is so oppressive. A uh, new note. Lovely. All right. Ooh, this one looks fancier. I can't hold anymore. What? Just to pick up the note, I need to have inventory space? <sighs> it's a red envelope. There's a letter and a small key inside. Oh. You've seen that world as well, that horrible nightmare. But if you get sucked into it, it's not just a nightmare. Don't get lost in there. If you get pulled in, you'll be killed. Maybe there's still hope. Maybe the small key will guide you. If you've seen the door with the placard set in it, look to the other side of the door. Then keep going down to the deepest part of him and look for the ultimate truth. July 20th, Joseph. I, I don't... Oh, I don't know who the killer is. This is bugging me. Did Eileen just go back to her place? Uh, this is new. Hey there. It looks like a scrap from a diary. Walter Sullivan did kill himself. He died in his prison cell of blood loss after he stabbed himself in the neck with his spoon. His body was buried in a cemetery just outside his hometown of Silent Hill in an unmarked grave. After that, his name became famous all over the world, and it looked like his string of mass murders was finished at 10 out of 21. 
but three years later they found a corpse that had 12 out of 21 carved into it. The corpse was from six months earlier. In other words, the person was killed two and a half years after Sullivan committed suicide. The MO was exactly the same as Sullivan's, except for one thing. All ten of Sullivan's victims were found with their hearts cut out and their chest wounds sewn together expertly with thread. On the other hand, the 1221 victims still had their heart. Naturally, the police think it's a copycat and are proceeding on the basis, but they haven't made any progress and recently discovered victim number 13. This corpse also had their heart intact. The police still haven't even identified a suspect. I've got a working hypothesis. Very few people knew the details of the original crimes and would be able to copy Sullivan's M.O. so perfectly. First, I'll head to Silent Hill, to the graveyard near that beautiful little lake. Maybe I'll find the answer there, June 11th. You put diary June 11th in your scrapbook. Alright, so you have to like revisit worlds in this game, and I bet this is now that part. Um, where we, because we have to go back to Silent Hill, the, the orphanage, gotta go back to the water prison. The weather that day was very strange. Even though I avoided the earlier storm, there was still a thick fog clinging to everything. Fortunately, that allowed me to avoid being seen and get right to work. The police are still stubbornly acting as if it's just a copycat case, so I figured things probably hadn't been touched here, but I was wrong. I should have come sooner. The cemetery was in such bad condition that it was almost sad. The storm must have raised the sea level. Anyway, that's how it was when I found Walter Sullivan's grave. His diary is pretty damaged around this point and I can't read anymore. I'm still in shock. There was no body in the grave. And on top of that, written on the coffin were the numbers 11 out of 21, June 14th. You put the red diary, June 14th, in your scrapbook. How long has it been since I left this room? I can't tell if it's been days or hours. But during that time, they found the body of 14 out of 21. I've been having hallucinations lately. I think I'm losing my mind. No date written. You put the red diary, questionable date, in your scrapbook. Right. I don't know what's happening. So... Let's do it! Uh... Um... Hello? Oh, oh Eileen, you're back. Freaky. I can't stay here by myself. I'm a curse. No way. Yeah, I was told not to leave you alone. Are you doing cold reading? Haha, ha, weird or weird, weird? Yeah. He was doing an investigation about a religious cult and a man named Walter Solomon. I got this letter from him. He told me to go down, down to the deepest part of him. Kinky. To look for the ultimate truth. Very kinky. There must be something down there. The truth that you are, Walter? Okay. Just a guess. Yeah, 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 since you won't fit in that hole. Not because you're fat. Yeah. Alright, we got the small room key, so hopefully that'll lead us somewhere. And I was basically told just take very good care of her, stay near her, don't let enemies hurt her, and you'll be fine. Alright, um, there's gotta be a door that wouldn't open before. Shit. Ooh, can we use the elevator now? So that's what that was up. Oh, we can use it to unlock this thing. Sweet. All right, let's go. Let's kick some ass. Come on, Eileen. What's up? What you got? 
You got nothing. 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 Oh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> what the hell? That was funny. Uh, that was funny. Oh, it's gonna be hard because there's three of them. All right. Yes. Yes, Eileen. No, I need to stomp you. I can't st <laughs> What the hell? It looks like they're taking some damage from me. Oh, wait. Get, run, 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 run. Don't get up. Don't get up. Don't get up. Okay, stomp. <sighs> no, no, no. Takes two stomps. No. Can't. I think I got them all. All right. I think they're dead. It's funny, in the walkthrough it says you can't kill them permanently. Uh, I found out that I can. You just gotta stomp them. Alright, let's go in here. Ooh, it's foggy. And there's a dead body. Lovely. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna equip the gun for now. Just in case. Ready to pop some fools. Ooh, there's a trail of blood. Cute. Feels like we're back at the water prison. Aline, baby, you still there? You still there, babe? Little kiss? Mm, little kiss? Mm. Sorry, that was a... We're not quite there in our relationship yet. I just... I don't know. Just, uh, who am I kidding? The boathouse was the right time. Oh, Aline, I hope that's you. I hear scuttling. Oh. Oh, the... the Wait, are we back in the freaking? Oh my gosh, we're in a blending of all the worlds. We're back at the freaking subway station. Oh, do I need to go back and get the stupid tokens? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna end this episode here because we are currently in what appears to be like a combination of all the worlds. So this is basically a new level. So we did hospital world, sort of. And now we're continuing on to whatever this is. Um, so thank you guys for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you didn't like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe anyway. All right, thanks guys very much, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Mwah!